Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Don channel. We're here out in front of the Sphere showing the uh, Octon Baby tour for you too. Here on the Vegas Don channel, we attempted to park in a parking garage so that we could get a good view of the place, the Sphere, and they wanted $65 in order to park there. And that's in addition to the uh, events that they have there, whether that's U2 or the, I know the um, Planet Earth show that they do there. That one's 80 bucks. Still advertising there for U2. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. See the palazzo there on the left in this shot? As well as Encore on the right side there. And you can see Resorts World has its LED screen there as well. So they're both, I've read online that these are both the uh, largest LED screens in the world, they're saying. The one down on Fremont Street is up there as well, the overhead down on Fremont Street. Pan over here and take a look at the Venetian and the High Roller along with Harrah's sitting in here. Perhaps tonight is a U2 concert and that's why the parking is $65. And that might explain why the image hasn't changed. You see Treasure Island out there over to the left of Palazzo in the shot too. It was showing a whole bunch of Paramount ads because it is the uh, Super Bowl week. And now, once we hit 7 o'clock, it appears the uh, graphic has now changed to U2 and is now stuck there. <laughs> but it is a massive building, especially when you take into consideration all of the other resorts around it. Looks like they're trying to tune in old-style television. Fire and ice, maybe? Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. There's a lot of flashing. This looks like it might be a planet Earth. Or not. Add. I have my family in the car with me here, so... Uh, please excuse my sons. Tongue Baby YouTube tour here in 2024. And uh, not sure exactly what the event is here this evening, but I'm thinking it's probably one of the YouTube concerts. The monorail and distance had the Super Bowl wrapping all over it. Because of course Super Bowl 58 is here in a few days, featuring the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs are staying out at Lake Las Vegas, as are the San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs, I believe, are at the uh, Westin out at Lake Las Vegas, while the 49ers are staying at the Hilton 
out at Lake Las Vegas. If you've never been to Lake Las Vegas, highly recommend it. Very cool place. It is certainly well off the beaten path, but it's uh, a lot more laid back. I believe they said the uh, sphere is about 343 feet high or something in that neighborhood. It's really quite amazing. $2.3 billion constructed. is pretty static right now. See, sort of see the uh, marquee on the side of Resorts World there as well. James Hype advertising for him. And looking back over here to the left again, we have the Hype Roller. Ferris wheel there, along with the Venetian. Paris, and then the Palazzo, both Sands properties, blue up Palazzo and Venetian are, that's why the sphere is parked behind here, behind those two properties. This is the second time in four years that the Kansas City Chiefs will be playing the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. They last played in 2020. Chiefs, of course, won last year. Defeating the Philadelphia Eagles. I think this is on a loop for the uh, ostensibly the U2 concert that appears to be going on here because this video appears to be repeating. It's like a giant eyeball. And just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. See the ad there for the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58, here in Las Vegas, right down the road on uh, Allegiant Stadium. Again, between the San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs. I've read that they are paying Sands Corp to run a whole bunch of ads this year, or this week actually, here on the uh, Sphere. And a Paramount. Plus has been advertising in all the uh, Paramount properties. I've seen, seen, we've seen SpongeBob on there, as well as um, Pluto TV. This looks like a uh, vending machine. One of those skill machines, they call them, that has the little toys inside the plastic things. You have to use the claw in order to grab them. And hope that it holds on to it the whole way out of the machine. We're here at the southeast corner of the sphere here. I'm not sure what they're advertising for here. And the NFL. More ads for the Super Bowl. 
And again, just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. Super Bowl 58 here in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium right down the road. Image of the strip there. Inside the helmet. Both the Chiefs and 49ers have had their logos on the sphere. Hoping they uh, show that to us now. Temperature outside right now is about 54, 53 degrees. But we've got some wind out of the south southwest. So it's making it quite chilly. You can see the helicopters over there on the, by the strip. The strip is of course just there on the other side of the Palazzo and the Venetian. And the helicopters doing the tours, the strip tours here at night. Never done one, but uh, imagine it's gotta be quite beautiful with all the lights. February 11, 2024, Super Bowl 58 here in Las Vegas. And it's a globe with a whole bunch of planes, FedEx planes, that is. And so another ad for FedEx with the NFL logo on it. And I uh, just wanted to show the fountain blue up there. It's just up there to the right. The marquee is there on the top of it. That opened it up uh, a couple months ago. They've actually had some problems with some executives. I think they've had four executives leave in the last couple of months that it's been open. And there was a... Um, someone posted a video on social media of a... Um, basket of nachos that had four nachos in it and it came to $24 at Fountain Blue. So if you're going to go, make sure you've got plenty of money. Speaking of money, when we attempted to come down here to uh, park, there's a parking garage over here we were hoping to be able to view from, but um, because of the event here at the Sphere this evening, they are charging $65 to park in that garage. $65. Seems a little arbitrary and capricious, but what do I know? And here's the ad for Pluto TV, the aforementioned ad for Pluto TV. Owned by Paramount, I believe. And that's why Paramount's got all of its uh, properties being advertised here. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, being shown there on the right. Really hoping to catch the uh, emoji. Brady Bunch being advertised there. Wanted to try and catch the emoji, the popular emoji here. And again, just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. That's not quite the emoji I was thinking about. The uh, regular emoji is, of course, all yellow. RuPaul's Drag Race they're advertising for. They're on Pluto TV. And again, Super Bowl 58. Down the street here. 
undoubtedly you will see this on uh, the broadcast. You see the monorail up there that is featuring the uh, Super Bowl wrapping all over it. Looks like a Nike Max, Air Max ad. And they showed this one before as well. And there's a Cadillac Escalade limo playing Pink Floyd very loudly down there. I have to make sure I don't get, uh, get that caught in here. Okay, we just had to pause it there because we didn't want to get the copyright in there for uh, Pink Floyd they were playing in that Escalade limo. And this is behind, again, the Palazzo and Venetian you can see there. More NFL advertising. I haven't really seen the emoji all week, so I'm wondering if uh, this, they've just suspended that for now. That uh, display of the emoji, and now we're back to Pluto TV. sorts of activity here, just east of the Las Vegas Strip, and the Sphere. More advertising for Pluto TV here during Super Bowl week. And again, the Super Bowl is featuring the uh, San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs once again, as it did four years ago back in 2020. I have my family in the back seat, so please pardon my sons as they talk to me. Paramount Plus ad now. And for the NFL on CBS. It's kind of weird. It looks like the Fox robot for the NFL on Fox. Now CBS is using it too, or at least a different version of it. SpongeBob there. Another Paramount property. Still kind of cool to see. And just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. They continue the ads for Paramount. Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible. Very cool structure. It cost them $2.3 billion with a B to build. That looks like a Star Trek Discovery ad. And we're back to advertising for the NFL in Super Bowl 58. Here in Las Vegas, down the road at Legion Stadium.
all sorts of activity going on here. There's an ambulance down the road there. Looks like traffic is actually backed up now as a result. U2 Akpung Baby Tour. As you can see, the high roller right there and the link promenade, along with Harrods, and then the Venetian and Palazzo. Sands Corp owns both of those, as it does the Sphere. And then to the right is the Encore and the Fountain Blue up in the upper right there. Again, we tried to park at the parking garage to get a better view of the Sphere. And because of the event this evening, they were charging $65 to park. Six five. The tickets to see the uh, Planet Earth show here at the Sphere are like 80 bucks. So um, definitely bring your wallets. Vegas is definitely uh, expensive. The days of the $5.99 buffet are long gone. distance up there you can see Circus Circus as well as Resorts World advertising for T-Pain now on its marquee again you, uh, Resorts World and Sphere are said to have the one and two largest LED screens in the world and the one down on Fremont Street is definitely on that list too but the sphere is definitely the biggest. It's, I think it's like 343 feet tall. And if you've been to Vegas and you've been to the Palazzo, you know, compared to the size of the Palazzo and the Treasure Island there in the background, as well as Venetian, the sphere is enormous. And please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. Looks like traffic's getting around the ambulance up there. And again, both NFL teams that are participating in the Super Bowl this weekend here in Las Vegas are um, staying out at Lake Las Vegas, far away from the glitz and glamour of the Las Vegas Strip, so as not to get distracted ahead of the big game. Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers facing off here in Super Bowl 58. Vegas is, from what I've read, trying to get Super Bowl in 2029. They have them lined up for, uh, I believe, SoFi Stadium, Levi Stadium, and one other, I'm not sure, in 27, I believe now. They're trying to secure 2029 Super Bowl here in Las Vegas. Changes its screen once again. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. Top to recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. Resorts World up in the distance there on the right, to the right of Encore, the LED screen for Resorts World, looks like it's showing its properties, as well as an ad for Adidas. With Patrick Mahomey on it.
My sons are in the back seat here, taking this family outing. This is just a very impressive sight. You really do have to come down here in order to see it in person. I don't really think seeing it on the internet is going to do it any justice. It's really quite impressive. My sons are getting restless. Oh, okay. Welcome back. It was showing the same image there for quite some time, so we uh, paused it for just a moment. Now it's finally changed somewhat. My wife in the back seat was just reminding me that these apartments over here to the left have been uh, complaining, residents have been complaining about all the light at night here in this apartment complex right here. Super Bowl 58 again here in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium down the road. Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers and now another ad from Paramount for Pluto TV. You can see the Venetian there as well as the Palazzo, both owned by the same company that owns Sands, or that, I'm sorry, that owns the Sphere, which is Sands Corp. Resorts World over there, with its marquee lit up as well. There's a sort of emoji, but that's uh, not really the emoji we've all come to know and love here in Las Vegas. They're having an event here this evening. I'm not sure if it's a U2 concert, but the uh, parking garage wanted $65 in order to park right across the street here. 65 Goodness knows what they're charging for parking down at the Super Bowl this weekend. Shot there of the, uh, another emoji. And you have the fountain blue up here on the right. You can see the fountain blue there. There was an individual who went to a uh, restaurant there at the fountain blue and was charged $24 for four nachos, four nacho chips. Bargain at twice the price, and now NFL ads. Got a giant eyeball. And the NFL robot that Fox NFL uses. And this is, uh, I guess, his competition here on CBS for the NFL. His arms kind of look like plastic hoses that you use behind the washing machine. SpongeBob. There's a Holiday Inn right behind us where we're parked here on the side of the road and uh, imagine their rates have skyrocketed ever since this $2.3 billion facility was constructed. Let's see more ads here for Paramount Plus. And again, this is the complex over here. I've just been complaining about all the light blazing into their units as a result of the sphere opening. Sphere's been uh, going now since, uh, actually since the 4th of July was their first show, but then I believe Labor Day was their first actual official opening. They had like a soft opening back on the 4th of July in 2023. Located here just off the uh, Las Vegas Strip, behind the Palazzo. This $2.3 billion facility is really rather impressive. There's an ad for Adidas. And Patrick Mahomey.
love doing the strip tour at night. Your bad self there, Patrick Mahomey. Ads for Adidas. So we've seen ads for Nike and for Adidas now. I'm sure we'll see even more, probably even this Patrick Mahomey ad on Super Bowl Sunday during the uh, game. The game's being played down at Allegiant Stadium. The individual who told me it was $65 to park in the parking garage here across the street from the Sphere said, uh, go up here and double park. These cars up here at this dead end next to the Holiday Inn in order to get your uh, shots of the Sphere. And so here we are. We're not double parked though. We always obey every posted traffic law here on the biggest option. But there's a vehicle double parked right next to me right now. And they've all been coming here quite a bit. And now a Budweiser ad. This is different. The Clydesdales I know are in town too. They're down on Fremont Street, I believe, today. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. So please make your voices known and heard. See the snow globe appearance there. One of the Clydesdales. And a big suburban, really. Parking Escalade. Right. Rule the world is the marquee on the side of the resort's world up there on the right behind Encore. Dude wipes. Well, I guess they need to get money for advertising to uh, help pay for the place. They'll take it from just about anyone. And more NFL ads. And again, the uh, fountain blue up there on the right. You can see the marquee at the top of the fountain blue. just opened up a couple months ago here in 2020. Well, we're in now in 2024. I believe they opened up right around Thanksgiving 2023. That's from the Octung Baby Tour for you two. See it again in the Palazzo, Treasure Island, Venetian. All lit up here at night. Harrods, the high roller, Ferris wheel. Have been on that, that's pretty cool. Lasts for about a half hour, the uh, Ferris wheel does. Get up high and see everything, including the sphere. Because at the moment here, you have an unobstructed view between the sphere and the high roller. Chilly night here, the week before the Super Bowl. About 50 degrees outside, the wind is, oh, there's brisk wind out of the southwest at about 12 miles an hour. So it's a little chilly out. Certainly not what you would expect in the summertime here in Las Vegas. <laughs> 